ladies. Uh -huh. We're here to tell the story of the showgirl of every color, size, and shape and day. They decorate the show by moving to and fro. And oh, there was a time they were the rays. They traveled to the city we call Vegas. Prepare to entertain the folks unclad. Goodbye to mom and pop. They made it to the top by cashing in on every gift they so far south they're speaking Spanish and my tuchus has fallen and it can't get up say something positive to cheer me up well said Ernie there's nothing wrong with your eyesight boy it's hot in here I'll never forget 
get it, you know. I was brown bagging it with my girlfriend Clementine. We were sitting on a park bench sharing a tuna fish sandwich. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, a man comes and stands in front of us, opens his trench coat, and flashes us. Clementine immediately had a stroke. Unfortunately, my hand couldn't reach that far. Boy, it's high I'll never forget it, you know. I was downtown shopping with my girlfriend Clementine. The salesman invited her into the changing room for a quickie. Without batting an eyelash, Clementine said, mm, Why don't we make it a Yankee? The salesman was flummoxed. He says, What's a Yankee? Oh, says Clementine, it's just like a quickie. But you do it yourself. Boy, it's high I'll never forget it, you know. My boyfriend, Ernie, was away on retreat, searching for his inner child, when I discovered I was in need of <clears throat> physical attention. So I rushed on down to the Saints Be Praised nursing home, where I can still turn my head or two. Sure enough, there was old Mr. Cornfeld. He said to me, so tonight's the night we have relations. Well, we had the... We were laying in bed afterwards, basking in the afterglow and sharing a pell-mell. He said to me, Soph, if I had known you were a virgin, I would have been so much more gentle with you. And I said, well, if I had known you could still get it up, I would have taken off my patty holes. Boy, it's hot in here. My boy's in a steady breeze. I'm cool and feeling great. When she gets on stage again, I start to incubate. Oh! You know, my girlfriend, Clementine, at the age of 89, decided she needed a little more excitement in her life. Decided she wanted to join the Hells Angels Bikers Club. She sashayed up to a big scary looking guy and said, young man, I would like to join your organization. Don't be silly, old lady, he said. We're the toughest gang in the whole state, and you can't join unless you drink. Oh, no problem, says Clementine. I knock back eight or ten shots every night after playing pool with the boys. You gotta smoke, too, says the biker. Oh, says Clementine, does marijuana count? Because I burn two or three doobies every night after playing pool with the boys. Well, now the biker's starting to get a little anxious. Beads of sweat are forming under that mustache. He says, you don't get it, old lady. We're the toughest gang in the whole state. Most of us have been in jail. Have you ever been picked up by the fuzz? No, says Clementine. But I've been swung around by the tits a few times. Boy, it's hot in here. I'll never forget it, you know. My boyfriend Ernie said to me, Soph, if you could learn to cook, we could fire the chef. I said, Ernie, if you could learn to fuck, we could fire the chauffeur. Oh, I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed. Salty songs and dirty jokes put my daughter through private school. Oh, but it does take a toll on you. Oh, my God, I'm exhausted. Two years of this. How does anybody do this day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year? Come back, Celine. All is forgiven. Oh, oh my God. Cher, Elton, anybody. Donnie and Marie cross the fucking street. Help me out. Oh, Lord, have mercy. All right. Oh, it's coming, I know. I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, they couldn't pay me enough. Yes, they can. I'll never forget it, you know. I was walking my chihuahua puddles. My girlfriend Clementine and her Doberman Pinscher. 
We came to a bar. Clementine said, ooh, let's go in for a pick-me-up. I said, Clementine, we cannot go into a bar with these goddamn dogs. She said, don't be such a stick in the mud. Follow my lead. And she put on a pair of dark glasses, and she and the Doberman Pinscher walked into the bar. The bouncer stopped her. He said, sorry, lady, no dogs allowed. She said, you don't understand. This is my seeing eye dog. The bouncer was stunned. He said, a Doberman pincher? Yes, says Clementine. They're using them now, and they're very good. Well, he let her in. So I figured, what the hell? I put on the dark glasses. I got the chihuahua by the leash. I walk into the bar. The bouncer stops me. He says, sorry, lady, no dogs allowed. I said, you don't understand. This is my seeing eye dog. The bouncer was stunned. He said, a chihuahua? I said, They gave me a fucking chihuahua? You know, I've been telling these jokes for 40 years. Oh my God, no, please, I only bring it up because I want to point out to you that I've been telling them for 40 years and you've been laughing at them for 40 years. Oh my God, even though you heard them a million times, you laugh anyway. If that is an unconditional love, I don't know what is. So thank you so much for all the joy you've given me back in time for so much. What a life you've given me and my family. We are so grateful. You know, I learned most of these jokes back in the 70s when I was just a sprout starting out, but I was too nervous to tell them as myself because in those days they would execute you if you said fuck on the stage. (laughs) Anyway, I didn't want to die, so I decided, ooh, I think what I'll do is I'll make up a character and put the jokes in her mouth and let her take the heat. And that's what I did. I made up a kind of an old wise ass. I called her Soph. She'd been everywhere and she'd seen everything and done everything. And I remember so clearly when I made her up. I was about 30 and I figured, well, she's probably 60. <laughs> I see you're way ahead of me on this one. Well, I don't know how many of you have ever had an alter ego, but they can be a real pain in the neck sometimes. A couple years ago, when we were starting out with this show, I was so panic-stricken and terrified because, you know, you can see it's a big show. I'd never done a show this big, on a stage this big. And you can see it has a lot of moving parts and big costume changes and set changes and everything. I was just scared out of my wits. And one night, Soph appeared to me at the foot of my bed and she said, Miss M, Miss M, I have news. The showgirl can't go on. Have a nice time in Las Vegas, darling. Good luck. I said, oh, Soph, don't even joke about a thing like that. Of course you're coming with me. You're closing the show. She said, no, I'm not. I said, yes, you are. You've got to. You can't abandon me now. I need you. And she said, ah, you need me. Well, high time you admitted it. But since you did, I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to show you how a real headliner closes a show. And she picked up a ukulele from the foot of the bed. And I was stunned. I had no idea there was a ukulele at the foot of the bed. (laughs) She said, Miss M, Miss M, I had a hell of a time. And I will never forget it. You gotta give a little, take a little, let your poor heart break a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. You gotta laugh a little, cry a little until the clouds are rolled by a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. As long as there's the two of us, we got the world, we, (laughs) 
We got the world and all. I'm so, I'm so tired. I'm so fucking tired. Is it over yet? Oh, somebody. Oh, God. Someone rescue me. Maybe if I picked the tempo up, I'd wake up. <laughs> Let's see how that sounds. Let's see. As long as there. Forget it. Maestro, play that for me because I'm too tired to even remember what the chords are. Oh, did I tell you I met the queen? I met many queens, but I met the real queen. I met the real one. There's hardly any queens left, but this one particular one, the English one, you know, with the little hairdo. Oh, she's so cute. She's smaller than me, you know, and she has little white hair. She's been wearing, you know, she's still wearing pin curls. I find that so fascinating. I mean, they've heard about rollers and no, 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 she likes those pin curls. But she was wearing a set of the most amazing diamonds I've ever seen. It was all I could do not to snatch them off her neck. I'm telling you. That's how I spent my Christmas vacation. It was worth it. Did I sing the ballad yet? Was it wonderful? And I will never forget it. If you know it, sing along. You gotta give a little, take a little, and let your poor heart break a little. That's the story of, that's the story of. That's the glory of love.